Stacy we're talking about today is Ellen Villa's Swing. I have it here in light champagne rooted. I picked this off at the Wig Studio One clearance section. Be sure to check it out and bookmark the clearance section of Wig Studio One. There's some great deals on that site. I'm lucky to have found this one on the clearance because with the prices of wigs these days, who doesn't need a good bargain, right? So the pixie we're talking about today is Ellen Villa's Swing, shown here in light champagne rooted. Swing is an amazing little pixie. It's more of a boy cut design. It's very chic. It's sharp, it has bold edges, it's well tailored. It actually reminds me a lot of the pixie that was sported by Mary Stuart Masterson's character in some kind of wonderful back in the 80s. And this is the identical cut that she had. It was just simply adorable. Let's talk about this light champagne rooted real quick though. It's a combination of some beige, honey, and platinum blondes on a medium brown root. Now in this particular case, it is running cool. There's quite a bit of platinum in this mix. It really lightens and brightens around the face, don't you think? And then it gradually you see more of the rooting in the back so it just looks like a really heavily highlighted look all the way through the front i love that it's very dynamic has a lot of layers here so let's talk about the measurements and dimensions super important when shopping for a pixie and it's really important for you to know your preferences so you can find just the right pixie i do have a video i'll go ahead and attach here it is uh, how to shop for a pixie, getting to know your own preferences and shop accordingly. I think it's a really good one. I have learned my preferences for pixies along the way. I really like a boy cut kind of a tailored look, sculpted look on my pixies. That front piece is about three and a half inches. So that is going to scoot over the eyebrow and out of the eyes, no matter how you wanna part this wig style. And in the back, you're going to see about a five inch crown piece. So right off of the crown, you do get a little bit of a rounded profile and that quickly tapers into a one and a half inch nape. The nape measurement is a really sensitive measurement. You wanna make sure you're gonna get some good coverage. This hugs the occipital ridge very well. The cap fits right underneath there. So you're gonna see that that crown just kind of overlaps the sides and the back and it delivers a nice sculpted look right there above the ear. You can just kind of scoop those forward. Now this is an open cap and debatably it has a little bit of monofilament right at the crown. We're gonna check that out. I don't know about that. I'm gonna to have to check it out. Sometimes the monofilament is just so small, it's very hard to spot, but yet it gives a little bit of a natural indentation there as, as hair would naturally grow. Uh, this is made from a really fine fiber, so extremely fine, silky fibers, and there's no defined parting space. You don't have to have a parting space on this, so all you have to do is just kind of pick it a little bit with your fingers and allow it to fall across the crown in a way that is flattering to you. So I like it kind of scooped forward and then a little bit off to the side from left to right. That's how I think I'll prefer to wear it. But I could wear it straight down, obviously, or, you know, just kind of play around with the look a little bit, which we will do some of that in the styling. But I put it on and I'm like, yeah, this is a really cute, easy one to wear. This is one of those plug and chug wig styles that I like so much. All the dimensions are there. It weighs just under two ounces. Can you believe that? Like 1.9 ounces. It feels very lightweight. So we do need a little permatease on the top just to cover wefting and things. It is not the heavy, thick, pillowy kind of permatease. All in all, this pixie has a really low profile. So it's sculpted on the sides, it's sculpted at the back and at the nape. And there's not a whole lot of volume to be had on the top though. So it's going to have a lower profile. Therefore, there's not much permatease needed to sustain this style.
inside look at the cap for Ellen Villa's swing. At the front, you have a nice velvet piece for comfort. There's a little bit of hidden weft there to obscure the wig line. You've got a piece of mesh material kind of covering up those wefts there. Now this is where I think the monofilament is supposed to be, although I'm not really sensing or seeing that here. Um, it doesn't seem to be any different than the surrounding material. So I'm not sure about that one. And a velvet closed ear tab, sturdy stays, an extended felted nape with the Velcro style adjusters, lots of wefting, not a ton of stretch. I think this is suitable, as I've mentioned, for a petite average circumference. It could stretch up to average. I think this pixie is going to look fabulous with your glasses and it's going to be very comfortable to wear glasses with this style. Fits nicely and securely between the ear and the ear tab. So I'm just going to move this around for you so that you can get familiar with this really light feathery texture and density. The perfect pixie to put on your list for this summer. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon. We're here on Taz's Wig Closet.